Hey you guys, I'm going to do a Bare Essentials Bare Minerals haul, but first I want to just give you a quick update on something. Um, I feel so stupid telling you about this because I guess I should have realized, but I didn't. And um, one of my uh, viewers, subscribers, whatever, had left a comment telling me about it, and um, I chose to open them up and try them out anyway, but I'm talking about the OPI Expert Touch Nail Wipes. I thought that these were, <laughs> I thought that they were soaked in um, acetone, and they're not. They're just plain wipes. There's nothing on them. You have to use your own acetone. <laughs> so, well, that's okay. You know, they still work pretty good anyway. I couldn't understand why I was getting such a great deal on those, but that's what the deal is with that. Okay, let me just quickly now get into my Bare Essentials Bare Minerals haul. I am just loving all the stuff from this store. And um, I bought some more things, so I'm just going to show you and tell you a little bit about each thing. I'm going to start with the foundation primer. It's called Prime Time Foundation Primer. And this is no ordinary foundation primer. Every foundation primer that I have used, um, with the exception of the L'Oreal, has been um, waxy, silicone-based, uh, nasty. <laughs> and... Um, if you're familiar with the L'Oreal, it's like a pink cream, and I really like this, but I like this even better. This is a clear, uh, just a clear gel, and um, uh, it's very concentrated, a little goes a long way, and I had asked them for a sample, so you're not going to be able to even see this, but... It, I know, it looks like the jar is empty, right? It's not. It's just a, it's a clear gel. If I tried to put some on my hand, you wouldn't even be able to see it. It'd be invisible. But, oh my God, I love, love this. I cannot see myself using anything else now, um, ever. It's that good. Um, if you have a Bare Essentials store near you, I strongly recommend that you go in and just ask them for a sample. And go home and try your sample out. If you're not convinced, then I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's great. Um, and then I also bought, I wanted to try one of their blushes. So I got this one. And it looks really, really bright, but if you look at my face, it looks not as crazy on. I mean, it's definitely pink, but it's it doesn't go on as crazy as it looks in the container. This is called Fruit Cocktail. Love it. Um, go with your instincts when you're at the store. A lot of times the employees at the store will try and recommend different products to me but you know and that's fine but everyone has their own tastes and I like to pick out things that that I like you know and she was trying to steer me in a completely different direction when I was looking at the blushes but I really really like this one and then um let's see another thing I got was the mineral veil which is um, it's like a setting powder, but it's not. I don't know. I don't want to spill this, but, um, I don't know if you can see that. What this is, is it's, hopefully I get this right, it's rice powder that is water encapsulated. So when you put this on top of the foundation, it's... It's really a totally unique idea, but it's like hydrating the foundation. You're adding moisture. Um, so you're going to use your regular moisturizer on your face, and then I use their foundation primer. Then I put their foundation. Then I put the mineral veil. 
and you have to use a synthetic brush and I know this looks really funny but that's because I just washed it <laughs> so it's soaking wet but it's usually very fluffy um, you have to use a completely synthetic brush to use the mineral veil because it's water encapsulated you don't want to use a um, natural bristle head brush otherwise it's it's not going to go on right so make sure you use a synthetic brush and um, I got four more eye colors they call them eye colors they don't call them eye shadows I got let's see I want to start with Queen Tiffany which is the one that I'm wearing now which is in the brown family yeah it's tough with these packages because it really you can't really see the color but that's what it looks like this is Queen Tiffany and I got Celestine um, you know what? I'm wondering if maybe you can see it like inside the cover better. I know these are going to be so hard to see. What if I swatched it on my finger? This is kind of like woodwinked, sort of a, a gold with a brownish hue to it. That's Celestine. And I got Queen Phyllis. I haven't opened this one yet so I can put it completely up but this is like um, like a highlight color I haven't been using highlight with these so far but at some point I'm definitely gonna want to do like a, just to try like a three color look thing and I figured this would be a good highlight color <clears throat> and I got true gold and I haven't opened this one yet either. Whoa! <laughs> and it's a good thing. It's a good thing that I haven't opened it. But I don't know how well you can see that. But it really is like true gold. And I usually go more for silvers than I do golds, but... Um, I don't know. Since I've been getting into the Bare Minerals, I'm going for colors that... I don't normally go for I think it all started with the Urban Decay Naked palette that sort of got me going in that direction of the the neutrals the browns and golds and beiges and I don't know I, I my either I guess my tastes are changing or something I don't know uh, I'm, I'm sure I'll still use some cool colors too but um, yeah that's what I got from Bare Essentials and I might as well tell you what else I have on for products. Um, I was using the, or trying, the Bare Minerals um, Well Rested under my eyes. But I don't think that product works that well for me because it's like a yellowy color. And um, so it doesn't really match my skin tone. So I've gone back to using my Essence Concealer Palette. And I find that the the pink under my eyes on my dark circle seems to work the best for me and I'm using the um, Bare Minerals Prime Time Eye Primer which is absolutely fantastic really really good stuff um, makes your shadows stay in place all day which doesn't sound like that big of a deal but it very much is so with these because these are so glittery and um, finely milled um, they're minerals they're not eyeshadow per se so it's really really important that you use a good primer and this is quite possibly the best primer I've ever used I know I sound like a Bare Minerals commercial but I really really do love all this stuff well not all of it like I said the well rested doesn't work for me um, but that's only because of my uh, skin color. If you have uh, yellow undertones in your skin, that would probably be like phenomenal for you to use. Um, okay, and I used the Bare Minerals, um, just the original foundation, and my color is fair. 
and I told you those. Um, and I've got the Urban Decay 24-7 in um, whiskey eyeliner on, and ever since I got my Urban Decay palette, oh my god, <laughs> I love this eyeliner. Even when I'm not using the Urban Decay palette, I keep grabbing this because it's so awesome because it's got brown on one side and black on the other. So no matter what you're using for eyeshadows, either one of those is going to work, you know, but it just... Oh, just glides on so nice and I definitely see why people like this eyeliner so much and I'm still using my uh, Maybelline the Falsies mascara and um, the lip combo that I showed you the other day uh, the MAC Viva Glam Cindy with the MAC uh, Luster Glass in Love Nectar I think I like this combination just a little bit better than the uh, Revlon Coral Reef lip gloss over it I like them both, but um, this one is a little more, um, I don't know, subdued, I guess you'd say. So I really like that. And um, this is a necklace that my friend Anna gave me. This is from Walmart. This is from Macy's. These are wicked old. I've had them forever. And this my mom gave me. So, and the, oh, the shirt is... Um, Sure is Sonoma brand and it's from Kohl's. So that's all my stuff and um, I'll see you next time. Bye.